Welcome back. Today we'll be covering how to program the Garin 1000 and put in a flight plan. We'll be starting at a waypoint of KFRG Farmingdale. So if you toggle the soft button on the right here, FPL flight plan, it'll toggle off and on the flight plan, plan function. And for today, we're going to go to Farmingdale to East Hampton which will be K Hotel Tango Asuka H2O. So to activate the cursor here, which is blinking now, you just press that button and it'll highlight the next waypoint. So we're gonna actually turn the large knob here, the FMS knob, actually the smaller knob and Turn the small knob till we get K. Then we want to scroll to the right and turn the small knob to get alpha H and then scroll over using a big knob to H T. Oh, East Hampton Airport, and that's what we want. We'll now press the soft key, enter. So now we have, and we're going to actually delete this because this is just some arbitrary waypoint. For deleting this waypoint, this arbitrary waypoint, you could go over to the right and press the clear button. It'll say remove 51K. And it's on OK. You press enter. And that removed it. So for our flight plan today, we're flying from Farmdale KFRG to East Hampton KHTO. KFRG HTO. We are in GPS. Distance is 54.7 nautical miles a bearing of 088 and it's showing on a uh, gps here also on our mfd this is our pfd our multifunctional display and for increasing the range you could go up to the range knob and turn this knob clockwise and it'll scroll out and you can see our entire nautical map or you could go scroll back in turn it the knob range knob counterclockwise and it'll scroll back in now for the uh, flight plan some other options we could do uh, there's extremely large amount of functions you could plug into these uh, flight plan mode or function but for those of you that are flying uh, instrument on the Garmin 1000, say if we're going to uh, East Hampton, KHTO, and we want to select uh, a instrument procedure, an approach there, what we could do is we could scroll up to HTO, press procedure. It's highlighted on select approach, but say if we wanted to do arrival, we just select the cursor for whatever we want, what procedure we want to put into the flight plan for the H2O airport. But for today, we're going to select approach, press enter. And for today, we're going to scroll down to the VOR uh, LNAV. So we're going to just take the large knob, turn it clockwise. We've got the VOR and press enter. We'll take the initial approach fix, so we're going to scroll down and it's going to use the VR H2O as the initial approach fix. Press enter. 
Uh, you could plug in minimums, but we're just going to leave it blank for today. And we're not quite in a terminal area, so we're just going to load it up. Or we can activate, but since we have 54.7 miles here, we're just going to load it up into the flight plan. So we'll press enter. And if you notice, uh, once we do get to East Hampton, KH2 HTO, it's going to fly or plot the VR LNAV uh, with the initial approach fix. Now, say if we uh, made a mistake and we didn't want this approach there, we could go ahead and scroll down using a large knob. Okay, now we'll scroll down to the procedure we want to remove you'll press clear also remove your lnav uh, from flight plan okay press enter and you'll notice that it was removed now we could either leave that flight plan up on a screen or toggle it on and off by pressing the flight plan that's flight planning function uh, for the Garmin 1000 GPS it's there's a lot more functions and you can find out more functions within the Garmin 1000 GPS manual